Hello everyone, Emily here. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to show you how to make these really super cute candy ornaments. I made, uh, this one's pink. I have some orange ones that I made. This one is red. So you can see the difference between the hot pink and the red. I really like the green. And I made this one too. Um, it's more like a Tootsie Roll roll. Uh, I only made one of those, but I think it's really super cute. And here's another one. These make me think of spearmint candy. But they're really cute, and they'd be really nice hanging on the tree. I'm going to put my, um, my metal hanger right here so it's going to hang like this. I just really think they're cute. So they're really super fast and easy. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now how to do it. We're going to do a magic circle. How to do a magic circle is you're going to drape it over your two fingers here, your middle finger and your forefinger. Bring it around, and as you come up to the top, you're going to go over your yarn. Then I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to go under here. And I'm going to grab this yarn, take it under. your needle underneath, grab your yarn, bring it under, put your finger here and hold it. And you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And you're going to make sure that you crochet over this loose little one here. And we are going to do 12 double crochets inside the magic circle. I went around 12 times, so I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm going to pull it tight. And you can see when you pull it tight, it closes that middle. And then I am going to go to the top of that chain three and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now I am going to chain one. I'm going to pull it tight. I pulled it tight and now I'm going to cut it off. So my granddaughter just spilled all her beads all over. This is what she's working on over there. Anyway, so I made one and we're going to make another one just like it.
I made another one exactly the same as the first one. However, we're not going to cut it off. So we're going to go ahead and chain one. We're going to put these two sides together. We want the wrong side facing each other. And you can see this is nice and thick. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just go into the next stitch here. And going through both loops and anywhere you want to on both of them you can go ahead and start so I'm just gonna do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around as I join them I think these are really cute and very festive I can't wait till I get all my Christmas decorations made and I can show you how I'm going to put them in a little box and give them out as gifts. And this does not take very long at all. And when you have extra little tails, you can just cut them. And if, you ha and if you have a long piece, just stick it inside the candy. And you can just leave it in there. Okay, I'm here at the end. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chain eight. So I chained eight. I'm going to go into the same stitch here. I'm going to do a slip stitch. And I'm going to chain another eight. Sometimes I do nine and eight, like I do this one eight and this one nine, just so that they're not the exact same size. And you could make these longer if you wanted your little candy wrapper edges longer. And I'm going to end this off. So we did one side of our candy right here. And I'm just going to go in and bury this tail right now. There we go. So now I'm going to get my yarn, my white yarn. I'm going to tie a slip stitch. And I'm going to try to go straight across <laughs> as close as I can. So I brought the yarn through. I'm just going to bring my tail over here and I'm going to chain eight. And I'm going to come down. I'm going to do a slip stitch in the same stitch. Slip stitch and I'm going to chain another eight. I'm going to come down and I'm going to do a slip stitch in that. I'm going to pull it tight. Chain one pull it nice and tight and I'm going to cut it off. And now I'm going to bury these two in the middle and I'm ready to put my lines on. So I'm going to bury my yarn. look cute and then you can decide what color you want for your lines and I have decided that I'm gonna do another green one I don't know why but I'm really liking the green 
So just cut off a nice long piece. I save all my little scraps, put them into balls. So if I have any left over, I just save it anyway. I'm very thrifty with my yarn. So I'm going to put it on my needle. My needle is plastic and I really like these. So I'm going to take the end that's not on the needle. <clears throat> and I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around this uh, piece right here. And then I'm going to tie it in a knot. I wrapped it around. You can wrap it around two or three times, however many times you want to. Tie it in a knot. Cut some of that extra off there. And I don't bury those. I just leave them hanging. And so this is going to be one of the lines. And so I'm just going to go in here. It's going to come out the middle of the back. And there you go. So I'm just going to come over here. And some of mine I went around four I mean, I'm sorry, five times. Some of them I went around six times. It just depends on how many times you want to go around. So mine are different. And I'm going to go around here. And I'm going to go around here. Okay. So now I want to tie my other side, so I'm just going to go in to the middle and I'm going to come out right where I want to tie at. Take it off my needle and I'm just going to wrap it around however many times I want. I'm going to take it under here, I'm just going to pull it nice and tight. Did I do that correctly? There we go. You can tie it and not any way you want to. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to do it again. There. And you have candy. I'm just going to cut this little piece off here. So I hope this was an easy tutorial for you to follow. I think these are really cute and they're going to look really nice on the tree. They're going to make great gifts. And I'm not adding anything to these. This one, all I did was go back and forth like five times and ended it. And then I added my little things on the end and tied the ends with a color. That's all I did. So these are really cute. Really happy with them. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please subscribe. Give me a like. And I will be back soon. Thank you. Bye.